Welcome back aboard Blue, our sailboat and full-time home. We have overcome our toughest days since we set off from Cape Verde. We passed the squall line mid-Atlantic, we changed our broken Genoa sail and fixed our disabled prop. Now it's sunshine days ahead. This is the stuff people dream about and yes, this is boat life reality, the good kind. Subscribe and join us on the ocean. We changed the Genoa yesterday, I think, two days ago. Mm. And when we hoisted it, all went well. The last one, two meters, all of a sudden the tubes from the further jump out of the drum and go up. And at that point I freak out because I think, all right, if we lose the Genoa, we're f Now the Genoa is up, everything's fine. It doesn't have too much tension on it and I can see it's like fluffing a bit in the back, like when you, when you pull uh, a napkin. I am frantically afraid of snapping the Genoa halyard and with pressure in the sail it's hard to bring that up and still the, the tubes they still come up a bit so it's hard to keep those in place. But today I'm gonna look at that because it's another 12 days of sailing on the Atlantic and I don't want to have another broken sail after 12 days. Not having it pull up completely does put extra strain on it. Some things that never happened before only happen now. It's the strangest thing. It's like this phase where he can't do anything, but he wants to do everything. And then everything makes him angry because he can't. He can't, he can't reach the stuff he eats or puts in his mouth is not good. That one he learns quickly though. <laughs> I mean, it's like 8.30 now. Heb je je gezicht geslaagd? Ah! 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 I noticed it's a bit tough to pull in a reef and I also want to be able to do it single-handed. Even though we have six hands to do it, optimizing for single-handing opens up the chance to do it alone at night or simply let others rest. There are enough all hands on deck moments already and if I can minimize wear and optimize for single-handing with a little bit of effort, no question I do it. If you want to get the full explanation of Alex nerding out on this one, then wait until the end of the video where we will tell you all about the secret project that we've been working on. We are sailing conservative and for some, reefing early and often may be a pain. And I get it, nobody likes sailing slow. But we are on a marathon and for us that requires a change in attitude. Next to maximizing comfort for the family, I am adamant about preventing breakdown and minimizing wear. Also, go and do the math. The usage and wear on the sails on a 20-day full-time crossing is as much as six months of casual cruising. Next to that, we're mostly on the same course, so chafe will set in much much quicker compared to a fair share of different tacks and different wind angles throughout the season. It's simple, we do not have a marine store close by and we need to be sustainable in all areas of life. Keep the boat moving forward until we arrive in Martinique. We heard this before and it turns out to be true. The first few days of the crossing, you run around the boat checking all lines and rig and blocks and all. And somehow, although you've been sailing this boat for years, you find a spot where all of a sudden line chafes. And it's always critical. For us, that was the Genoa sheet, wiggling forth and back through the eye of the pole. We worked around it, 
but I don't want to bore you. Maybe in another video. More importantly, the boat is moving. Levi is learning about tethers, we got apples and it's only 10 days left until landfall in Martinique. <laughs> oh, 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 shit. No, it's too big. Oh, jeez. Can I get a blow? Quick. Yep. Oh. Is he big? Huh? He's not jumping that much. He feels strong. I mean, he was, he was too strong for the reel. Got another one on our second homemade lure. <laughs> Honestly, I was standing there and I was thinking, should we bring it in? And I watched the thing, and all of a sudden it's like, flap! And it, it, it got one bite and it flew off. And I thought, oh, okay, doesn't take it. And then he went for a second time. And he bit the lure. And we got it. And now we got him. But we noticed the, the line snaps quite often. So the guy who sold us the line was like, yeah, you can catch tuna with that. Don't think so. This one is big, eh? Look at that. It's really fat. Look at that homemade lure. It's working so well, guys. This one, they get bigger and fatter every time, don't they? Yep. Hello. Hello. How are you doing? Oh well. Spending too much time inside the boat, too little outside. Yeah? Mm. How's how so why is that? Baby. Doing good? Yeah. Well fed. A bit tired. Like this new trade wind situation with the constant swell is a bit tiring to be honest. But I think you'll get used to everything. It's like next level things and like next nine days are gonna be like that and then we're gonna be okay it's more than okay the next days we get some champagne sailing it feels really good when things work out this is the reward for all the hard work nothing but water and wind the elements working in our favor killer sunsets full tummies and a boat that with a bit of tweaking once in a while and a good eye on wear works itself the hydrovane is in its uh -huh. Is it? The hydrovane is in its element, keeping the boat on wind angle. And for quite some time now, we also get steady winds. There's no artificial autopilot motor noise and no squeaking, no pull on the batteries, only the noise of waves splooshing the stern. We can aim for 270 degrees, that is heading straight west. Everyone is healthy and we're eating well. Mandy is pulling crazy weights on this crossing, making sure we are all fed, keeping Leafy happy and taking an equal amount of night shifts. Watch until the end to find out how to score a Zoom call with us where she can tell you what it means to cross an ocean with a baby. There's 
a squall cloud behind us on our quarter. Um, it's, it seems like it's coming towards us. Not really much chance of evading when we're doing six knots and the cloud is doing 20. No. So let's see. Where is it? The wind's gone. Wow. Kind of cool, isn't it? Getting rained on with the sun. It is kind of nice, guys. Doesn't feel too bad. The wind's not crazy. Wind kind of stays the same as it's been all night, somewhere between 10 and 16 knots apparent. We're changing all night. We've been doing good speeds all night. And uh, we're still doing good speeds, like somewhere between five and a half, six knots. So it doesn't feel crazy at all. It's rain. Rain and sun. Nice. He's got a clean boat. Need to get a clean boat. This time, at least we came prepared. Last time, it totally caught us off guard. So I come in. We hoped it would pass behind us, but it didn't seem like it was gonna. So today we're prepared, guys. Only once. So today we crossed the halfway point in direct miles. A few days ago, I think one or two days ago, we crossed the halfway point in time remaining. Because the first half of the trip we went a little bit of a southern curve to avoid some uh, low wind patches and thunderstorms. Then we hit the squall line which was pretty horrific. Um, but after that it's been quite good sailing. It's been tough a few times and rough but steady and manageable. And we've been doing greater speeds now so between five and six knots and usually a five knot average over 24 hours which means that we will reach Martinique in 190 hours. Can't wait. This shake prevention on the spreaders was pretty ingenious, I think. It's pool noodle wrapped around um, and just tied up with zip ties, the cable ties. And it works quite well. It's up there too. You can see there's a bit of a chafe point in the main. Oh yeah, where the baton is. But hey, it's all right. weather gear before we get hit by the rain hopefully we don't get wet at all and we manage to avoid everything but at least we came from
first one we made because we had no lures left. We lost them all, and that was made of feathers, a dream catcher, and what else? Baby toy. A baby toy. This is a tropical squid made from sombrella fabric and um, the tails that go on your to go on your sail. Pretty. Yeah, nice. What are we doing today? Uh, Mandy prepared a quiche and I prepared a dough. I didn't want to get my hands dirty. So it's, uh, it's quiche time. Quiche time. Oh, big fish! Can you slow the boat down? The guys are trying to uh, reel in a very big mahi, as it seems, and we tried to slow the boat down. We have a third reef in the main still from last night's squalls. So we just did take it out because we were doing six knots anyway. Alex filled in the head seal, and we are still doing five to five and a half knots. So we just can't slow down more than that. It's crazy. Yeah, so that's an anti climax. <laughs> oh. Last freaking meter, it just jumped off. Hi guys, glad you're still here. Let's talk about our secret project. Oh, no. If you've been following us for longer than today, you know that we have had our fair share of sailing experiences and we have not been afraid to show you our mistakes, tell you what we've learned from it and showed you a thing or two about living aboard a boat. So we have great news now for everybody who is really excited about starting their own sailing adventure. Over the next month, we are building Liveaboard Academy, a library of liveaboard knowledge that answers all of your questions and gives you a head start. We include everything that we've learned over the years and also things we didn't put in our videos yet. It's all gonna be valuable, compressed information, not wasting anyone's time, serious and useful videos. So if you're interested in this and you want to help us shape Liveaboard Academy, then check out the link in the description down below. Here you find a questionnaire and if you fill this out, you can let us know about your challenges and questions. In turn, we will create the most relevant Liveaboard source on the internet. Bonus! If you're serious about your own adventure, this is a great way to get in touch with us personally because we are giving away three times a one hour Zoom call with us where you can ask us anything boat related or personally like how are you doing anything really mm. the questionnaire takes about five minutes to fill out and you get a chance to win a zoom with us head over to the link in the description down below give the video a thumbs up and see you in the next one bye <laughs>